Hello, so I want to do a video on this. Now, sadly, this is deactivated, but um, you can probably find real ones somewhere. And this is a Sestava M56 submachine gun. So the Serbian company Sestava made it um, during the period of Yugoslavia. So what this was, it's a bit of a weird thing. So let's um, first put the um, bolt into its closed position. It's a bit of a finger trap. There we go. And let's fold the stock. You just push in a little button a bit like the AK mag, not AK mag, sorry, um, AK stocks. Am I doing that the right way around? It's like the AKs, it's bloody stiff. Um, let's have a go with both fingers. Yeah, there we go, it works fine with both fingers. Thumbs. Right, anyway, so, this is the Zastava MP, uh, M56. So you might say, this looks like a bastard MP40, and that's basically what it is. So, <laughs> What this is, let's take the uh, bayonet off as well, so it looks a bit more like an MP40. There we go. It's quite a nice bayonet this has as well. And that's oil on one side, by the way, not um, like rust. Cosmoline sort of oil. Right, anyway, so... The Zastava M56 is basically... You get um, Yugoslavia, and they want to make their own submachine gun. And there's the PPS-43, which is basically the PPSH-41, but simplified, and sort of better. And the MP-40. And, like, we want the design of the MP-40, but we want the um, cartridge 7.62x25 Tokarev that the, um, you know, PPS-43 uses, and some of the design elements for PPS-43. And this is what you come up with. So, um, it's a bit weird, but it's really well made. So you've got the um, magazine release switch there. And this is a stupidly high quality magazine for what it is. Double stack, single feed, but um, yeah, it's really good. Um, in terms of like, you know, you just push it in and it clamps into place. Let me do that with a bit of a slap so you can hear it. Yeah, it just, it just works. And you've got this really good submachine gun setup. So it's got like the classic MP40 iron sight which you probably can't see very well on camera. It's open bolt, so you know it's a bit shit in that respect. But there's ways you can lock the bolt open like that. And again, open bolts are definitely finger trap, um, you know, amputate your finger sort of guns. Like that. But, um, yeah. So, um, basically how it works. You've got a really high quality magazine. And I really, really mean that, as in this thing is super easy to load. Let me take a couple of rounds out of it and show you. So if you've um, ever loaded a magazine under your tension, you know they're quite hard to do. But you get this thing, and man is this fucking easy to do. Nope. I've dropped around there, but still. There we go. Just slaps right in there. And being a Tokarev uh, magazine, it definitely loads, um, you know, and fires higher velocity than a, um, there we go, than a, um, sort of 9mm gun. So, yeah, this thing is really cool. So, <laughs> it's, um, but again, it's kind of a weird abomination of a gun. It's Yugoslavia basically saying we want an MP40 style looking gun. But not an MP40, but a Tokarev gun. And then put a bayonet on it and everything else. Like so. Is that locked in properly yet? Yeah, there we go. And you've got the classic MP40 stock on it still. You push out, you know, skeleton stock, like the AKs had. And again, because this has been sealed in storage for so long, everything's locked up really tight on it. So, there we go. Unlock the uh, stock. Swing that out under the sling. Unfold the shoulder part. And there you have it. The, um... 
MP40 from the Superior Communist Round. But yeah, this is a really, really cool thing. Um, you know, it's an abomination. For my American viewers, I don't know how easily you can get them. It does have a fire selector on it. I believe it's this little bit that's on both sides. You can't probably see it very well there, can you? Um, under the strap. This little tab. There we go. And I believe that's a semi to full auto little selector. Because obviously, like I said, the safety is this weird bloody thing that you take down here and then twist. And that's safe to semi. Because obviously, uh, or like safe to automatic. Because obviously, if you've not put it in the safe position, because it's an open bolt, little tap, puts it back on. But yeah, when it's in that position, it's ready to go, safe, and then you twist it, off you go. But yeah. This is a horrendous but beautiful thing at the same time. Like I said, it's some weird com block, but not proper com block because it's Yugoslavia, which makes it all the more interesting because, you know, Tito is way more based than Stalin. And you've got this weird, weird thing that's basically an MP40 that has, and again, compare this to some of the um, other communist Cold War guns, like the Magwell and everything is so much better. Like, again, it's so strange how satisfying that mag releases and the um, slap in sort of thing. Where if I can line that up? Because I can't see the lights blinding me that I'm filming with in the face. Let's just do it that way. I'm going to look at the camera and do it. So anyway, you've got this. Um, you've got this like tab here. You can hear how quickly that ejects it. That's a really good spring action comes out and then just give it a slap and you've got that really good magazine in place and like I said this magazine is one of the best I've ever had for thumbing in like you know rounds it just really really works so yeah there you go Yugoslav M56 an MP40 PPS 43 sort of weird hybrid thing but the point was that you know if you wanted a good commie era submachine gun this thing was amazing